All right, so let's say you encounter a problem where you have a door stop like this wedge right here, and you know that these lengths are given, and you want to paint this door stop. How much paint would you need? In other words, what is the surface area right, of this door stop? So how do we do that? Well, remember that all we have to do to find the surface area is find the area of each face. So right here is a face, and then add them up. Right? So here's one triangle. It's a face. It's 6 by 8. Now to find the area of a triangle, you multiply 6 by 8 and then divide it by 2. But there's another triangle over here on this side of equal area. So since we're going to do that twice, we can think of those two triangles as making a 6 by 8 rectangle. Right? You can almost picture it. If I have a 6 by 8 rectangle, that can be broken down into two 6 by 8 triangles. Right? So here's one 6 by 8 triangle. And then here's another 6 by 8. So instead of taking each and dividing it by 2, I can just find the area of the rectangle. Multiply this by 6 by 8, and that's 48 right, square centimeters. So just in one step, multiplying 6 by 8, I find this triangular face and this one over here. Now the rectangles um, are not going to all be the same, right? Because each length of the triangle is different. So this rectangle on top is a 4 by 10 rectangle, which is just 4 times 10, and that equals 40 square centimeters. And then the rectangle on this side, what's that going to equal? Well, we know that this length is 6, and we know that this length is 4, so it's just 4 by 6, or 6 by 4 rectangle, and that's 24 square centimeters. Now, every triangular prism, like this one right here, has five faces. We have the two triangles that we found first, then the one rectangle, and then this one over here. That leaves us with one more face. Uh, which specifically is the face on the bottom. And we know that this it's 8 over here. And what is this length? Well, it must be the same as up here, right? Because this piece is a rectangle. So it's 8 by 4 centimeters. And that's our last piece, 8 by 4, which is 32 square centimeters. If we add these up, we find the total surface area. So let's do that. 4 and 2 is 6, plus 8 is 14. 4 and 4 is 8. 9, 10, 11, and then 3 more is 14. So 144 square centimeters, and that's our surface area. Thanks.